Hello, good morning. Here we are, headquarters, and we have some good news. I passed the MOT with flying colours, and I'm um, pretty chuffed with that. A couple of issues before I left for the MOT centre. Wife is behind me, noticed that indicators were malfunctioning, so a little cross wire, easy fix, and uh, went down, left it overnight, and yeah, nothing, no issues whatsoever. You saw that there's been quite a lot of work done to it, so we are back on the road after three years, so yeah. Um, what's been happening since I did the last video? Well, I've been... Ugh. Oh god, this is locked. I've been trying to... Okay, that's a recipe for disaster. Um, putting some like matting down here just to smarten it up a bit. I put some carpet on the roof, some little lights. Nothing fancy. I like the headliner, but fuck me, it's expensive. A thousand pounds for a second hand. Um, genuine sort of flange rover units that, that fit in. So just tarting up these. Uh, sun visors i'll put some carpet along each side of here and then that'll be that in the front a nice new steering wheel i got quite fancy maybe i can zoom out a bit and then i got this cool little um navigation thing so Basically, it's got maps, it's got music, it comes on with the ignition. Yeah. Got some lights under here. And then I've got my voltage meter. I've got power outlet plus USBs so some few little touches these are very bright and uh, yeah not bad eh? not bad so the next step is I need to do one more thing before I'm totally happy with using it every day so i've gone a few journeys with it i've taken the dogs out um well i've noticed though i went to the dump i put all the stuff that i'd taken off this defender so old doors old bike panels all the crap that had to get replaced filled up the back of it went to the dump and on the way back i got the dreaded uh, death wobble and a bit of pulling to one side on the steering so I don't know if you're familiar with the with the death wobble, but it's exactly what it sounds like. Um, you'll be driving along, and literally, for no reason, well, for a reason, but it seems like there's no reason at the time, the steering wheel does that. And see when you're going 70 miles an hour, or like 65, I don't actually know. I dare not go too quick in this thing, but yeah, it gives you some palpitations, that's for sure. So what I'm going to do today is going to try and fix that. I've got some new track rods, a new track rod, new track rod ends. I've got um, a new steering link bar and hopefully it's going to be just down to the fact that the actual um, the sort of bushings or the track rod ends are kind of just worn out. And there's just too much excessive play. So. So we'll replace all that. I bought the kit, and um, that'll be coming in a few days. But for now, I'm just gonna jack it up, show you which bits I'm gonna remove, and then, honestly, after this video, there's not a whole lot more to to film. So it might be might be the end of this series, but um, might get tinted windows on the back ones, so that will just gonna make it look quite cool as well. So I was gonna get a roof rack but I decided against it. I was gonna get a roof tent, I was gonna do a camera conversion but yeah I don't know I don't know it's just it's too much money at the moment so in terms of the actual rebuild in terms of getting this back on the road after so long 
kind of almost there in terms of uh, that that mission. Um, getting a good usable Land Rover back ready um, for you know 2023 and beyond. So um, let's crack on with it, jack it up, and uh, see what we're working with. Right. First thing I'm going to do. So this is the long bar that goes. This is the track rod bar. It goes from spans the whole axle. So these ends here. I'm not sure why it's not focusing, but. Um, these track rod ends are quite crusty looking and there could be wear in the actual joint itself so if I undo these bolts underneath and then it should be able to just bash it out so let's get in there. maybe I get another better view from the other side now this is it from the other side um, so I'm not, I didn't feel much, I can't really do it with one hand, but I'll put the torch down. I didn't feel much. It moves that way. Um, when you're changing doing the tracking, basically you unscrew or screw in this, depending on how you want to track it or adjust it. But because it's so old and corroded in there, I just thought makes sense. I mean, you can just replace the ends if you want, but I decided just to get a full bar. Um, so presumably, I don't know if you need to take this bit out or not, you probably do. But for now, um, well, almost certainly you need to take that out, actually. It's a good point, so I'll probably have to undo these two bolts. And then do the same on the other side. And that's the first part, so let's crack on with that. Looks like it's just a big castle nut down here, so we'll clean off some of that. Remove the, the clip that's in there that holds it in place. And then we'll crack that off. You can see now a bit better. Um, I've decrusted it a bit. And there's basically a clip that goes through the bottom. One side to the other, this here, and then it's bent over, so I need to unbend this, pull it through, and then that stops the castle not being locked on. So we'll get that unbent, a pair of pliers or whatever, and then we'll pull it through. All right, pins out, and yeah, number number 19 bit over there see if we can fit the impact in if not i'll have to do it the old-fashioned way i'm just i'm videoing but i'm just taking this out right i got it all at least let's just bash it out like i do bash it out Right, I whacked it really hard with a hammer, which is like my favourite thing to do. I really like doing it. And uh, the wheel is all a la carte. And she's out. Here it is on the bench. Both sides. And... Um, Interestingly, that has this bit seems to have more adjustment options than this side. Anyway, got a whole new bar to replace this with a new end. So I wanted to show you on camera. There's a decent amount of play in this. I'm pretty sure. It's not the, it's not the nicest. I'll just side over here. Again, quite a lot of play in all directions. So I don't think there's supposed to be too much play in these. Um, so this could be what's causing the death wobble. Anyway, let's move on to the next stage. Let's zoom out a bit. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is remove the steering arm, which is here, going across to the uh, offside axle. Um, 
hub, sorry, wheel hub. So there's another castle nut up here with clip. I have to remove that. Um, this is the connected to the this is the bottom arm of the steering box comes down here, and then this um, this will be replaced with a new bush thing, whatever you call it. So yeah, remove it here, remove it from the other side again, that end will be replaced. Um, so just similar to the track rods. So I'll take the steering arm out from there. And then as with as was before, I've got new ones. And um, yeah, so we'll just de this a little bit before we get, try and remove this. Hopefully this isn't gonna be too difficult, or too hard to remove. I'd rather not remove the, um, the steering guard here and then I'm also gonna I've got a replacement um steering dampener as well with new bushes so I don't know how effective this is but presumably it's you know fairly old so I'm just replacing it at the same time so let's crack on with that. Right I'm over on this side and I can't get this ball out because it just the whole thing twists. It comes out that far and then yeah I can't get anything in there. To hold it whilst I turn that and I thought there might be something I could put in the bottom of here like a allen key or something but um, that's not the case so I'm gonna grind it off right cut the bottom off it off and choose free now let's take this steering dampener off. These bushes are worn as anything so presumably this is a very old dampener. Um, you can get return to centre ones but actually the steering in this returns to the centre pretty well by itself. It's kind of just a spring um, and you adjust it so that the sort of preload uh, sets it to do something. I don't know what I'm talking about but you get the picture. Um, so let's take out that is that two? I think that might be two nuts. Yeah, it's two nuts. I take them out, and then I've taken that side out. So then the whole unit should just come out. So let's do it. And that's the steering arm, folks. Out. Bashed it. Bashed it to fuck. Uh, the dampener's a bit crusty there's not much dampening going on it's quite you can compress it easily with your hands and uh, yeah that's where I had to slice it off so I've got a new one of these coming not much else I can do oh no actually there is I can take off the steering guard and then prep the steering the lower steering arm for the new ball joint so that's probably what I'll do next Next thing we're going to do is rebuild the steering lower arm um, ball joint. So now that we've removed the steering um, steering arm there, so our steering rod, we see that there's a circlip under here. So we should be able to just get the pliers in there, the circlip pliers, remove that, and uh, remove that cup, which holds in the actual ball joint there. And then once we've got everything removed, I'll show you the kit that you use to replace this with. So the circlip popped off and then you have, you have this cup at the very bottom that the circlip holds in. And then underneath that, you've got a spring and this piece here uh, where the ball joint um, sits and then basically you're just left with this part here the actual ball and then you can just push that through that's out there like that um, 
and then you can remove the old sleeve and uh, once that old sleeve is, uh, is removed uh, I'll, I'll show you the new kit that I've got the, new, the old sleeve is kind of held on by um, usually like a, a clip around the, the base of it and uh, quite easy to get off really now this is the replacement kit uh, part number R VG 4010 ball joint kit um, ball joint dust cap bottom cup bottom ball joint top of the ball joint uh, spring circlip castle nut and uh, the various parts to make sure this stays on and the clip that goes through the bottom of the castle nut to keep everything on so I've got everything out from the steering arm except for this top cup so I'm going to try and figure out how to remove that without a special tool ignore me there's actually another part of this kit that I just noticed I was like what's this for but it's actually to remove the very thing that I was talking about to remove this and fit the new one so there's a kit and a, and a and the bolt. Um, pictures aren't great on here, but it's the ball joint removal kit. So, yes, we will put that on the way I think it should go, and I'll show you what's happening underneath. Right, assembled it. And I should just be able to tighten this all up, and that should remove the cup. Right, got the push the old cup out. It's a new one here. And then we're going to use our tool again to push it back in. Right, I've pushed that bottom cup in, top cup, sorry. So the bottom cup sits like that. That sits on top of there. Spring underneath. And then you have the bottom cap. And it uh, should be quite straightforward to, to refit all this. So we'll grease it all up. Get it put in. I forgot to mention this needs to go um, in between as well. It's like a stop the, the grease coming out the bottom. You put this in between. Um, you put it sort of around the sort of top cup that's already in the thing. I'll show you when it's on. New track rod has arrived. Do 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 do. Slightly different design than the original. It doesn't have castle nuts. It's got normal night well nylon nuts. So I have to figure out what the torque settings are for those. And just the two clamps here. But um, we'll get that installed once we get the other bits and then take it for an alignment. Get it properly done. New dampener arrived along with the drag link bar and. Uh, We've swapped everything over. Well, the only part to swap over is this. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Something I, I don't know, link I or something. Anyway, it's the only part that, that remains. And then, so, our new bushes. This is just sort of held in loosely at the moment until we get it adjusted. Uh, just measured it to what it was previously. We'll take it to get a proper alignment once it's all installed. I've approximately measured it, so it's the same length as the old one. As I say, we'll get this professionally done, but for now, let's just get it in. Right, running out of light, but I think you get the gist of it. It's not the most complicated job. I need to torque all the castle nuts down to 40 newton meters. Um, I've got a new one there, 40 meters again, over here, you see from the back side, and then new steering dampener, over here, the bushes, and new track rod so I should nip everything up and uh, put in the 
the front ones are castle nuts, the back ones are not. So I'll fart in your mirrors, put in the pins, tighten up the clamps, tighten up these clamps on each side to stop it. You can kind of see, you probably can't make it out, but when I'm turning that, the wheel is changing its camber. Sorry, it's um, tall. Not its camber, it's tall. So we'll get that aligned properly. Um, but once we've got everything in, we should be able to just drive down to the to the centre to get an alignment. Um, but uh, yeah, get it all back together off the jack stands and give it a shot. Right, I bought this nice new steering wheel, brand new. Jaguar Land Rover, original. It's got the centre cap, the Land Rover centre cap. And uh, maybe the eagle, eagle eyed if you've seen. I've already got a fairly new steering wheel, but I'll show you the reason for buying this. So I bought this steering wheel, OMP. Got a new boss for it. But I was slightly squint when I put on the, well, once I did the tracking and everything, changed all over the steering bits. Uh, steering wheel was a bit squint, so I was just going to realign it. I'm trying to pull the boss back off, and uh, I'm going to blame the quality of this, not my brutish way of doing things, but basically this is all snapped. I'll show you the other side. That's duct tape residue, but I managed to snap it here, I cracked it here, and cracked it there, so... It's not very Callum proof this, or very Land Rover proof. It's a shame, because it's actually quite a nice steering wheel. OMP. Mmm. Mmm. Um, so, I'm not sure what to do with this. I guess it's just going to be a nice wall ornament now. And a nice waste of money. So, the new one I've got is obviously rubber, plastic and steel. So, it should be Callum proof and the way Land Rover intended it to be. Not Callum proof, but sturdy and, and and so on so let's get that new one put on well it's not quite as glamorous but it's much bigger it's much more sturdy and Land Rover-esque and it's period correct it's OEM it's an official piece part it doesn't have the stupid aftermarket boss so it fits on the spline really well and uh, yeah actually I prefer it. I do prefer it. 